FM. Your voice, your music. You're listening to WGHC 98.3 FM. New level, new level. New level, new level. New level, new level. I didn't know. Nyango, eh. Oh, eh. Salatial on the beat. I go do anything for you. Eh. My baby, no cry, oh. Now you be my titular To do it Now for you I go cut my dada Baby oh I know say now better no day But everything I go share Now only you I go come on day I go that play We no go far Call me anytime I go day day Fashion, I go throw it. I go pamper you, you know, go play it. We go deliver. Nobody turn him a limo to KK Bad man I come when I did it Me and my guy shut it down I say let them know Boku days and they gonna see me around Let them know Nobody run me down I say let them know Get it all with the bomb Je laisse pas tomber Let them know See me I say J'ai beaucoup de fans partout Ma musique on écoute partout Ma mélodie coule partout Partout, voilà mon tour, mon buvet Partout, je veux le faire sous le partout Beaucoup des années Partout, partout, partout J'ai beaucoup de fans Partout, ma musique on écoute Partout, ma mélodie coule Partout, partout, partout Voilà mon tour, mon buvet Partout, je veux le faire sous le partout Beaucoup des années Partout, partout, partout I sing for my fans, they be showing me love, I be showing them back, back I give them a hit and I'm on to the next, I do it back to back, back, back Bless me, Salatian and my people, they got my back A moment with my fans, then I go, but I'll always be back Me and my guys shut it down, I say let them know Beaucoup des années gonna see me around, let them know Nobody run me down, I say let them know Get it all with the bomb, je laisse pas tomber Let them know, see me I say J'ai beaucoup de fans partout Ma musique on écoute partout Ma mélodie coule partout Partout, partout Voilà mon tour, mon buvet partout Je veux le faire sous le partout Beaucoup des années partout Partout, partout J'ai beaucoup de fans partout Ma musique on écoute partout Ma mélodie coule partout Voilà mon tour, mon buvet partout Je veux le faire sous le partout Beaucoup des années partout Partout, partout Run, come, come, help me Say merci à tous mes fans Sans vous, je suis rien Je dis merci à tous mes fans Naya, naya Naya, naya Naya, naya Merci à tous mes fans Beaucoup de fans partout Partout, ma mélodie coule partout, partout, partout. Voilà mon 
mon tour, me buvez partout Je veux le faire sous le partout Beaucoup des années partout Partout, partout Beaucoup de fans partout Ma musique, on écoute partout Ok, ok I don't need worry, worry We don't go with me, with me Yo, wait Never act Cause somebody call my baby That I know I'm holy hey. But now I don't need worry, worry If she don't go with me, with me Now I go there Cause somebody call my baby I don't know if I'm only hey. But I want to know worry, worry hey. You don't tell me, worry Now I want to go there Cause I do yawa oh Yawa Yawa eh Yawa She buy a yawa oh Yawa Yawa eh Yawa Now I don't know if worry, worry hey. You don't tell me, worry Now I want to go there You make me turn up, turn up Baby, come on, come on Now you are gonna follow, follow But you make me go, look, go, look Oh, hey, I wanna carry you go Now my feet will do, do I'm missing one of a coco One of a coco, coco Girl, if you want to my mind I don't shout at the call If you don't come, I go die, yo, oh, oh Now I don't know Worry, worry, eh. If you don't call on me, on me, then I won't go there. Can somebody call my baby? That I know I'm lonely. But I want to know, worry, worry, eh. You don't call on me, on me, then I won't go there. Cause I do ya wah oh ya wah. Girl, I'm missing you, baby. You are my one and only. Do I want you to show me? Then I you be my homie. Let me be bini bloody. Me trophy, me trophy. Then I you I go marry you. Mario, Mario Girl, if you were on my mind, oh baby I just shout at the call, if you don't come and go die, oh baby Now I don't know what he, what he is You don't tell me, oh me, then I go there Cause I do ya wah, oh Ya wah, eh She buy ya, ya wah, oh Ya wah Try do me voodoo, them a hat in a clean now. Them go do me juju, but a jade for me side now. Until I come for you, me go come me a me nani. Super scary, you hold me a me nani. No no no, me no no, over for me a me nani. To me to to me, I na so want to me me. Me can't hear me. I am bad, I am bad, I am bad. Come on, I'm a nani. I am bad, I am bad, I am bad. She a me a nani. I am bad, I am bad. Plastic smile, them all like me every day. But I know them long time. Chatting out of the year, from my ever, ever, friend in me, ever, ever, but we are going in the air. I then, I then, gonna was a meeting. Oh, then, crown, I'm a family. You follow back on me like a propaganda. Me, no, no, I'm do you like a langa. Oh, yeah, me want that to more. I tell you, I love me. Me be a jekoti. Me can you hear me? I am bad. I am bad. I am bad. Come on, I'm a nanny. I am bad. I am bad. I am bad. She a nanny. I am bad. I am bad. I am bad. Come on, I'm a nanny. I am bad. I am bad. I am bad. Me can you hear me? I am bad. I am bad. I am bad. Come on, I'm a nanny. I am bad. I am bad. I am bad. She a nanny. I am bad. I am bad. I am bad. Come on, I'm a nanny. I am bad. I am bad. Oh, you mean I 
How y'all doing? It's Friday night and we're out here in the studio. It's WGAC 98.3 FM. You're just tuning in. So uh, grab your phones and there's hot topics for tonight. It, number is 773-942-7167. I'm here with my co-host, uh, Black Jesus and Trace Kutus. Can you guys do me some jingle? We're talking to our audience. Most definitely. What's up, people? It's a long weekend. It's a hot weekend. It's a Labor Day weekend. We got Monday off, and we're going to stay here all night. We're going to party all night. You know, we got to talk about love making. We got to talk about steamy stuff in the family house. You know how we do out here in Solutions with Black Jesus and yeah, your yeah, girl, yeah, yeah. Julia. The topics for tonight, Julia, what you think? Black Jesus, say a word first before I launch the Man, I'm, I'm on the one and twos, man. It's all about love. I have me here. The team is set. <laughs> it's going to be amazing tonight. You already know. You already know. So, Hush. we hear my men say this all the time. I want a woman who's wifey material what is it that men consider wifey material anyways me we, uh, okay, me? okay okay me? okay a so julia we're gonna, type material we, we're gonna explore that in a second <laughs> That's and then right. the next topic for the half hour of the day is should african relationships consider the usage of sex toys toys, toys. yes yes even single sisters that are not in any kind of relationship is it okay to mess around, so, have your good time. I have a question, guys. So go ahead, go ahead. How go ahead. is this going to roll? Who's going to do the toys? Who's going to use the toys on who? Uh-huh. You, uh, Those who use toys, don't use toys, that match. Uh, they, I men sure do men. use toys. Not, not that match. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but women, you know? Yeah, women need it. So do some men even tolerate yeah, women to use toys? And that's, the, that's, that's why we're having this conversation because if it happens to so be that you're a man that cannot satisfy your woman, do you supplement the usage of toys? Before we get into that, what are these toys you're talking about? Uh, okay. Um, I know just a handful. I know handcuffs. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm uh, all for handcuffs. I know. Uh -oh. Just if you're not tying my hands. I know, I know, I know dildos. I know lately women have been going crazy with the different sizes. They could scare you, man. Mm. Uh. I'm seriously, some dildos could freak you out. <laughs> no, you. Nigerian women are using curcuma, so curcuma. <laughs> no, they're just going straight up Kalabaya, man. Uh, Kalabaya, yeah, 100%. Get a whole bit. There's a hot thing about curcuma so is going on. You got, so you got edible panties. Will you allow? I actually like those ones. Edible, edible panties, the panties that they wear, you can eat it off before you get to the cookies. Uh -huh. um, black, black Jesus is like, I, I, I'm a child black of God. Jesus I don't know none of this. Are you a saint? I'm a saint. <laughs> I'm okay, so no. edible pants are actually good. And it, uh, if you haven't tried them, uh, go ahead and try them. Please. You see, I'm yeah. a virgin. And you could you could try the strawberry ones. Ha! Huh. Yeah, strawberry edible pants. Sure. Your girl puts it on. 
Trace. And you got to eat all the You've whole drugs. You've been done some things. Oh, yeah, I have to. I have to, man. What you talking about? I have to. I have to. Okay. You can't, you can't, like, you can't be I this thought, passionate. I thought you are, you are uh, uh, on board with Trace. See, you, can lo you are completely lost. <laughs> no, you see, Cameroon guys. I, I don't do toys. So, uh, <laughs> you don't do toys. I, You're I, real. I, no, They're real, real Mandingo. I, I, I'm the toy. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I like that. I, 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 I like that. <laughs> so they get to play with you, huh? <laughs> You have no competition in your bedroom, right? Like, no, no man. competition. And, and, and so, you and so, got a battery will die. I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the thing is that black, thing, no, black, no, you do die. Black, uh, I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> you, <laughs> black, I'm sure. If she says she wants bigger, you say I got my ass. I, I, <laughs> I, I got my foot so, right here. So, black, when you're out of out of out of town, you're out of the state, mm. and uh, your girl needs, you know, to get some. And she's talking to you. She's doing a WhatsApp video call with you. You guys are going to sweet talk. And she really needs some. And mm -hmm. you're not there. You've gone to Ghana. You're, you're out of the country for a month or do so. Do you allow that? What happens? Do you just say she should go take a cold shower and go to bed? I mean, do you... What you know, happens? I, I think women... Not, the women have to answer this. But uh, we guys are, you know... Guys are different, but I, I believe that women have some strong minds. I when think it comes that, to like I that. think that once you're in a relationship... If it's you're talking about a wife, a committed relationship, you should keep keep some toys, some toys off because you may easily women would tell you some will get addicted to these toys and there is they keep themselves distant, they start complaining about the attention they're getting from their men. So if you're getting a lot of fun with the toys, I think that you start shifting your direction and your attention, you start feeling like that's the object that you need to be with. I don't know I don't know any particular woman who has this particular experience where she feels like she's gotten attached to the toys over her man because there's something that the human body offers that a toy cannot offer. Like Black Jesus said, he is rather the toy. The the, the, the human body cannot offer comfort, cannot offer warmth, right? So after, the toy cannot. Yes, the human being can and the toy the cannot. The toy cannot, right. yeah. So um, uh, you could play with the toy, you know, and then but you need that person to hold you. You need that person to still talk to you, tell you to love you, you know, whisper some good stuff in your ear. The toy cannot do that. So the toy does but serve a purpose. I think it depends on the type of toy, though. I don't think there's any amount of toy. There's not a teddy bear beat enough that it's going to have a heartbeat. Let me tell you, when somebody cuddles with you, you feel their heart beat. Right. Yeah. And that's that, that connection that you always like you to talk cannot, about. That part you cannot compare with anything because if you a lady are saying, I don't need you, I got a toy. Well, uh, a toy can't hug you. A toy can't um, give, uh, massage you. Well, but a toy, can, a toy can give you uh, uh, orgasm. A human may or may not give you orgasm. Of course, it can orgasm. give you orgasm. So now, this is the point. You can I'm take a toy with you everywhere. You could be at work. And you have your little vibrator going, you're shaking on Once your desk. Once you're in a relationship, if you really do need that, I'm sure that you should just, in a good relationship. See, I, I think when we put women in a, in a class of being in a relationship and they cannot or cannot do something, then that's a problem. I think that you should explore every avenue of your sexuality. Um, and, and being in a relationship should not stop you from taking your little six-inch vibrator to work. You know, if you need some, and, and, and black Jesus does not happen to be in the country, uh, you take it to work, you stick it in, and you're feeling good. And your day, let me tell you something. Most women who have a vibrator in a work, you have the best day. If you go to customer service. At work. Yes. If they have a they keep it at work. They put it inside a little vibrator that looks like <laughs> a tampon. Right? Yeah, it's, it's white I'm trace. You, Seriously. Like 7 a.m. in the morning. What are you doing she's, with a vibrator at work? Man, look, it's a sexual country. We women stay horny, they stay aggressive, and they're not gonna be having no active sex at work. They keep this little tampon. Are you meeting peaks on heat or what are you talking about? I, I don't know. It's a little vibrator. It uses Duracell battery. The battery only lasts for about Wait, one week. Wait, that thing will make a lot of noise. Like it goes no woo, woo, the woo, way in the, the way the Chinese those are the Chinese ones. The new ones from Germany and England. 
um, they, they have a silence so the, vi the volume can be reduced. The thing is, you know she's extra happy. She could be on drugs or she'd be on a, on a, vi on a vibrator. When I see a woman at 7 a.m. extra happy, I have two things. Either she, she got high this morning before she got to work or her vibrator is on. In, but why would she? Okay. Or oh, maybe she got something the next day. No. Uh, she, uh, I don't know about no, the day she, she might just be talking to someone sweet in her life. Oh, that's my she's goodness. Happy. No, 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 no. There's a vibrator in there. Women carry these things in their purses. They just go to the bathroom, stick it up, and no, the legs. No, so you come to work. Yes. Rather than focused on the work, you carry a vibrator in your purse. What so is stopping? Tra Trace is trying to say that that gives you energy. Actually. Yes, it it's you like happy. an energy. No, drink. but you already had used that at home. So why carry it to work? Because that's the that's the the, the, the portability of a vibrator. No, I mean, you're not gonna no, carry a whole big a whole five pound dildo to work. It. No, are you gonna carry a dildo to work? I mean, that thing is big. You gotta put your two hands to it, hold the nut sack, and hold the thing itself, and then you go ahead. No, that's a vibrator. It's a little small. It's like a pen. No, it just it's not all. You. It's not all. All some vibrators. Which one vibrators do you have? Come in. Trace, is that question geared to me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you trying to ask me no, if you, I have you're, one? You're breaking I don't down have the... anyone. Oh, okay. All right. I would like to have a human being. So, girls, would you, would you, would you, I mean, we, again, this is not substitution for a man. Like, like you were saying that you think that if, if women get to use it, I can, I tend to disagree. I just want to know if ladies, uh, 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 if you feel like you're willing, you could explore the usage of dildos, handcuffs, you know, you would rather wear edible panties on on, 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 on Valentine's Day if you're going to mess with toys. I mean, the way things are going right now. I mean, the edible panties thing is a good one. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking about, for me, it's just a spice up your relationship with a lot of stuff. I'm thinking about how you get in, how you get into intercourse with your spouse with your partner that process but um in it depends on the type of relationship if you're single maybe fine but why would you have a man around you and choose to use a vibrator it's like saying a uh, honey your thing is not good enough it can't act as good as a vibrator what, isn't it uh, black? Yep, you're right. You're right. Why but would I have a guango man beside me and switch? Oh, not. It's, some men have vibrating fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, I think, look, sometimes a man has a little peewee penis, like a little tiny penis, right? And I think that kind of man needs to say, Baby, if you want to get you a, a a dildo to work it, and then you just come in, do the little twenty seconds. So what about if mean? what about if the man actually uh, the woman the actually fell in love with the dildo and you you, you cannot. Away. You, th this, I, I'm asking, is there any woman that prefers just to have a dildo as opposed to Does a man? Does the size of the penis matter? Women are going for the bigger. Listen, when these things came out, I saw dildos that looked like normal human beings' penises. Right? It was just that, like normal. But today, those things look like statues that need to be in some <laughs> kind of museum. They are huge. You know? I mean, the smallest one I've seen is like a 12 inch. I, I'm like, I think some some of them are used by used by uh, you know, gay people, because I mean, when that ass is big, they just want something bigger. They can go and look. We men have taken this whole thing to a whole new. But look, I like the handcuffs. You know, I like the handcuffs, the little toy handcuffs. So I think I just think that people should be more open to spicing up their relationship. It's part of foreplay. You're big on foreplay. You talked about this at yeah, length, I'm big on foreplay, time. but I really want. My my kind of foreplay would be really taking time to use the body of my man. Like you said, be the toy. Let the man be the toy. And let me play a game on you. Let me play chess on you. Let me play use you like a guitar. Let me let me use you like for sandwich. Let me leak over your butt all over See, the they, place. Julie, they're all Versus, kinds of toys, uh, right? They're like toys. They're like little beats that make some, make some stuff yeah. sensations in yes. your body that a human those cannot one, replicate. Some, some of them, are, for me, 
are acceptable in the bedroom. Like what? Like some little whips. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some you, you hear that? She wants to go ahead and move the booty. You, you hear that? She no. wants, she's a dominatrix. This one right here. Do you wear masks? I need some spanks. Do you wear masks? Do you chain the man be, up? You don't be the cat woman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You chain him up. Huh? Is he a little dog? Woo, woo. You chain him up. I still have to get there. Ah, my goodness. I used to behave B or but, dominatrix. Uh, uh yeah. maybe as I'm falling in love with somebody, so I don't want to discourage that person. Oh my goodness! Is it you fall in love with somebody? Maybe he's maybe. just like that too. Maybe. Listen, I'm bring him into bring, bring him into your world. You gotta you gotta be I'm honest with the world. You gotta open yourself. Yes, and let you it, cannot let lie. Him let him find out that you're gonna be spanking him, <laughs> <laughs> and he's some barefoot brother somewhere, and it's a culture shock. <laughs> So, ladies, okay. um, let us know what you think about uh, toy usage in a relationship. Uh, we want to hear your take. A few people are shying away from this topic. Hey, what is it? This is real. People like you doing stuff in the bedroom. Whether you like it or not, spice up your relationship. So, what is it for you? Everybody, you like to use toys or not? Let me tell you, you something. Go to every woman's closet. Every girl that stays alone. I could, let's say... 85 to 90 percent if you go underneath her panties if you dig if she has a whole drawer stash of drawers if you dig underneath her panties you will see a vibrator or a dildo a girl that stays in the united states of america african I, that's where they, they stash they their ass. Start doing I've, I've been single. Yes, I've enough. been single for a long time and i don't have that so tell me which one to buy so because i have to upgrade Jude, see, that's the problem. You've been out of the market. I'm talking about women who are actively <laughs> active, right? Who are, who, are, who are so active. You've been out for a long time. Yeah, she's been out of the game. It's going to take you. You're going to go back to training before you can even get back what into training? the game. training? Man, yeah. I've been a cat in practice. Two years Just out of the game, to... you're almost a virgin no, again. You, so, I mean, in this day and age. In this day I, and I, know, I know a guy who actually um, never had sex for like, 20, 25 to 30 years. He got a problem? I told him straight up, you got it. After today, I know he's around Chicago. He lives here in Chicago. I look at him, I, 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 can, I can see the virgin out of him. Even though he had So what's before. his reason? He's scared? Christ, Christ, Christian? Christian? He should get a Christian <laughs> sister now. There's no Christian sister you in know, the church. After, after you, you know, I believe that every, every, every man... It's uh, all self-control, Every guy that goes, more easy. goes straight up one year without doing something... You now you become so virgin that you you don't even know how to talk to a woman. It it, 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 go, it goes both ways. Yeah, it is easy. I don't know. I don't get it with these church people. It's easier to pick up a woman in church than to pick up a woman in the club. Yeah. No, but so, but why are you not? What are you looking? Are you surprised? It is no, easier I'm not, I'm not to surprised. pick up a woman in church. Uh, you know, when you see every man, I'll tell you straight up. Every man that has the, um, you, you look at the face, and you see all these pimple, like mine right now. No, like I'm getting yeah, some bumps you know, right it, it, now. It's it's actually a, a sign of not getting. Some. Oh, and especially there's an age for you to have pimples, right? After 15, 16, 17, you should not be having pimples. Mm. If you're over 21, I mean, women have pimples because of the kind of shit they put on their face. That's different. You see a woman in her 40s and she's still breaking out. It's because of the chemicals Trace. that they put on their face. Am I breaking out right no, now I, because I'm not? Okay. No, I'm not talking What's about the you. Reason? I'm talking about the women that I know. Most of them. Yeah. Not you. You're not breaking out. You're fine just the way you, you are. Black, beautiful, gorgeous, African queen. You see how people people try to fool. fool. You know Is the somebody the... saying something on there? No, I I, I just saw uh, uh, Louisa just came and said hello, guys. And, uh, Big shout out Hi, to Louisa. Hi, Louisa. How are you, she's a, she's a big fan. So, and would you, Louisa, tell me, honey, would you allow dildos, handcuffs, and all of those freaky things in your bedroom when you're in a relationship? Do you want that? And wait, what would what men, is what, would what do use? men actually cut? What would men use? What would men use? I don't I, look a whole lot of. I African think a man who get tired and a woman is not <laughs> to the limit to you know to the climate. Hey, a man okay. you have to I, be open. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't think it's about it. tiredness per se. I just think that right, if a woman wants to satisfy herself, 
at a time when I'm not available, instead of she considering the option of probably going to get it outside, mm. she might just dash it into the bathroom or into her drawer, pick up something, get her fun. And in the process, she's thinking of me. But maybe I'm oh, not there. We have, I think we have a caller on the line. Caller, your name and where you calling from? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead. Call out your name and where you call it from. Hi, this is Louisa. Hey, Louis, Louis. Calling What's going Houston, on? Houston, Texas. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Julia. <laughs> Julia is listening. Yes, we're here. So, am I on the air? Yeah, you're on the air. Okay. <laughs> sorry, Julia. Can you repeat your question again? She wants you to uh, repeat the question. Just Hi, hey, Louise. How are you, Hi. baby girl? So, um, we are in this relationship things, right? So, the yes. question for tonight is, will you allow sex toys in your bathroom? <laughs> Would you allow sex toys in your bedroom if you're in any relationship? You have this handsome man lying next to you. And at some point you decide to say, okay, honey, I think your mandingo looks so tiny weeny. I need him bigger. Let me show you something I bought from a shop. This is big. This is called Mr. Jingle. This is called Mr. Teasy. Can you use this? Look at his face. Look at his eyes. Man, he is threatened by what? A toy. So would you allow that? Okay, this is my point, though. Yeah. Um, I, for me, I feel like toys were meant for single people. The reason why there's, there are toys out there is for the pleasure of the single women and the single men that don't have partners in their lives. And I don't see why you are in a relationship with a man that already has everything that you need in, in the bedroom, and, and you then want you to still him have with an object, right? Yeah, then you 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 still have to use a toy. Okay, say for married, if you if you're in a relationship and you have a toy, you're a married woman and you have a sex toy. Maybe when your husband is gone on a business trip or he's out of town, and that's you want, cheating. You don't, yeah, you don't want to cheat on him. Then you can <laughs> you can use the toy while your husband is gone. But if uh, your uh, husband uh, is at uh, home, uh, uh, uh. Louisa, I'm not going. I'm not going to buy. This is a this is a I'm not, I'm not buying, this this is, I'm not buying make, that. I'm not buying that. Point. That's cheating. There's that's no reason why, as a married woman, your husband is lying next to you and you have a toy, unless. I don't even know. I don't think there should be... Listen, Free. Listen. Unless the dick is not working. Unless the man's uh, uh, private part is not working. That's right. The only reason why a woman should have a toy is if she's single and, or if she's married and her husband is out of town. And that is just uh -uh. for your own okay. self satisfaction. Even with because, that, even with that because, you're giving him a free ticket to say, okay, since you're out of town, honey, why I get honey here and hi using a toy here? You can get some, yourself some... Peewee somewhere, some Panani somewhere, because oh, I, that's, well, that's what I to, think. We have to give some shout out first to uh, our, our listeners. There's uh, we got Bash right there, Louis. Uh, we sorry. Uh, we have to keep on recognizing our. our yeah, Louis, just shout go out, ahead and. and a few shout out starting with Freely, Louisa Ogechi OKK, and Tammy Matanini. We're giving a shout out to you, and uh, if we haven't called your name. Um, we just love you. Thank you for tuning in. All right, Louisa, go ahead. So this is my, my, my point, though. To, they say anything that you wouldn't do um, in front of your, your, your partner, do they say anything you wouldn't do in front of your partner that could be considered as cheating? But if a woman, I mean, if you know rather than, I, I know most men or married men would prefer their wives to I'd rather use a toy or their husbands to use a toy on their business trip than be with another woman. I'm I'm very sure there are many women out there that will prefer that. But to me, I think using a sex toy, first of all, it's a toy for that fact. That means you're the one in control over it. And imagine, um, I mean, you know your body very well as a woman and you're using it for to satisfy yourself. But then if your husband is lying next to you and you're using that sex toy, 
it just implies that your husband is useless or your partner at that moment is useless lying there by you and that means they're not satis- meeting your satisfaction. They're not meeting you at a point where you want to. I think that's the way. Or you make your husband or your partner feel less of a man lying there and you using a toy to satisfy yourself. Now, this is, this is another aspect that could could, where the, the sex toy could come in. See, your husband is out of town, he's on a business trip, and you guys are doing like a video sex chart. Hmm. If you're doing like a video sex chart, okay, then you, you can use it and let him watch if you want him to satisfy himself at that level. I will agree on that. But, I mean, if we talk on, I'm sorry, if we talk on African, African couples, Hell no. We know no African man want to see you have a sex toy in the bedroom because, you know, they have all these uh, conservative ideas and stuff. But our African men who are here in the U.S. have developed in acquired knowledge and they, some of them are interested in these things, but most of them would not tolerate it. I don't think so. So let, let, let me interject here in a little, for mm. a little bit. Okay. Um, I kind of disagree. Um, uh, a lot of things that you propose that only of sing, course, single, Harry. Of course, single uh, uh, <laughs> single women should only single women should be able to have uh, that opportunity to self pleasure. Um, no, I didn't say that. I said even a single man, if you want to have your toy, you can have it. Well, I mean, fo- it's for my, singles, my, my, whether my, a man or a woman. My focus is going to be on women, and then your focus is going to be on men. Of course, it makes a lot of sense. So um, I think that a woman in a relationship, in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, in a husband-wife relationship, should still have access to toys because this is what it is. Sometimes sex is all about play it's all about like entertainment right it's not sometimes about procreation sometimes it's not just about let's have a quickie and then go to bed sometimes it's about let's explore our sexuality let's connect let's see how far we can go we can introduce food we can introduce uh, a swing in, in the in the bedroom are you gonna say a swing in the bedroom is a bad idea if you put a swing by your bed where you're swinging here and she's coming and she's taking it the swing is the toy you understand the swing is the toy but granted you're still using your both bodies now the thing is that you want to see how far you could push her climax so you know that you're not going to have that resistance so you say how about i substitute my resistance with a toy where i want to push and see how many orgasms you can have at one oh night. that is expo- oh my god that is god. Ex- <laughs> ex- ex- exploring <laughs> the watching. avenues of sexuality that's pushing how far you can go so i'm using this thing and i'm going all over you and you're screaming and by the time you're about to settle then i come in with the natural effect and then at that time all you know need is squeeze me scratch my back tear me up that's the effect of being open being willing to accept things like toys and and other devices in your sex life and it has nothing to do with your status are you single are you married no the pleasures of sex don't have an identification based on status i think we lost louisa louisa you can call back uh we just lost you i think it depends on the kind of the type of toys you're going to use because there's no reason why you should be um, for me i'll say that if you're laying beside that man no matter what you say the his object his mandingo is the only thing that you want to use as a dildo you know what i mean so but there are other things like how long do. is that sex going to last wait there are yeah. other things we, that we, you we can use about this listen the last time. if how, you want to go playing if you want to play do four plays yes there are other things that you use but to spice up yeah i'm not saying that's the reason i said there is some that are acceptable and some are not i like the handcuff i like a little spank here and there i like <laughs> to make sure I, I can spank you i can <laughs> spank me and it's just the way it should flow i like to play with you i like to make sure you use other things besides that eat you make you For make me, you a sunday use okay. a, use an ice use a caramel in my bedroom chocolates and stuff like that so you and have I, preference for your preferences uh, for your own toys all i right, have preferences right. we, a have, big, we have five minutes to jump on the next issue but uh, let's let's get this straight Everybody should give his uh, own take about sex toy. 
I'm, I'm for sex toys. I think it's, it's good to explore that avenue, mm -hmm. any kind of sex toys, except sex toys for me. I don't know that there are any sex toys for men. I won't be using any for me. Mm -hmm. But if the woman is all about what she wants, if she wants to have sex toys, vibrator, take it to work, uh, uh, and we have a conversation, an honest conversation, I mean, she's not going behind my back to mm -hmm. do it. The issue is if I find out that she's doing this behind my back, then that's cheating for me. <laughs> but, but, yeah, she's having pleasure without me if we're in a relationship. So I have a problem with that. Okay. But if we are together in unison and we're having a conversation about this, then, of course, I am for it. Did you? Well, I the am for lady. some sex toys, not all. When you're in a relationship, if you're single, you can do what you want. It's you. It's up to you. But once you're in a relationship, it depends on you and your partner. And I feel like uh, using some of them is threatening to the man. Hey, I like the real thing. I like you. I want to feel you. I don't want to feel that object in my body. So uh, the moment I jump off that that boat, then I'm already, you know, violating certain rules in my relationship. Okay, and right, for me, I, I feel like sex toy automatically become you, you cheating straight up cheat. You're dependent on it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> you you know because it, it to get to a point that you when you get addicted to it, man. Thank that, you. That That's what I said before. That's what I said. That will rule a, it a could big be very addictive. relationship. So sex toy. Believe is it me. addictive or are we assuming that it's addictive? It is addictive. No, it, is. Ask, it is. I, I asked the question to the women. Is sex toys addictive? It is addictive. All right. Every woman that would... Wait, wait. How, how, do I know? If you like handcuffs, if you like to be handcuffed, do you become... Is it beca Does it you become know, an addiction? You know, some people get tired of... You know, you see some people in a relationship that the, the lady wants to be a cat today, be a Barbie tomorrow, be all of that. And it's, suddenly she takes up certain rules. Maybe she's always using handcuffs. Sometimes she say, okay, honey, what? Wrong. Can we just have I'm, I, let, normal sex? Let, let me say this again. I didn't finish. We have I, uh, when you, a man, um, actually advise a woman, your woman, to bring a sex toy to the party. That means you telling me to bring a third woman to have a three. Thank you. High five for that. High five. <laughs> no. High five. <laughs> no. High five. A yeah. Sex toy is like yeah. a threesome. So yeah. uh, sex toy. Are, are they are they using it on you? Not me. <laughs> 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 Thank you. So, so high is a threesome. It looks like a threesome Thank to you. me. Thank <laughs> you. When you're doing me and I'm doing you, <laughs> <laughs> and the sun starts to work in, that's threesome right there. I, uh, we have a call on the line. Your, your, where are you call, uh, your name and where are you calling from? Yes, it's Louisa. Oh, Sorry, Louis, Louis, what's going on? Okay, yes. uh, let's read a few comments. Yes. Uh, Louisa, hang on, hold on for a second. We're going to lock you in today. Today we are working uh, with uh, you. Hold on. Okay. A okay. uh, few comments. Uh, Tammy says, Harry just turned this into 50 shades of gray. Laughing my eyes up. Okay, fun bay, fun bay. He says, sex toys should be for foreplay and fun. Trying new and different things. Well, that's what uh, Trace is saying. Uh, but we want to try new and different things. Uh, I think our point right here is that try everything new and different, but don't threaten or don't bring a third party. Don't bring a third dick. Is there or anybody on that comment that is answering the question that has not been answered right now? Are sex okay. toys addictive? What? What? Uh, okay. I did just take, say is that what mechanical cheating? Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what did you? She says what mechanical cheating? So she calls That's it right. a mechanical cheating. That's true. And Max yeah. says that um, uh, boy mechanical cheating. No. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Let me ask you guys something, right? If you use your fingers to finger a girl, mm. is that not using? something other than your penis but those are your but fingers that's, that's your oh, part, of you. part of you so yeah. the issue is that as long as it's disconnected it from your no. body yeah. so you have a problem with that so so if you wear a condom it's part of you what do you mean by it's part because of you you take it off and you put it in the Con trash condom is for protection yeah, you yeah, still yeah. you yeah. mean by yeah. you're protection. putting it on your body yeah. Because the, the reaction that you get through condom you when you use a sex toy for a woman you don't feel nothing though <laughs> How do you know I don't feel nothing? No, no, no. nothing. The only thing you... There's connection. The way, way no, her, wait, wait. her body the, vibrates. Let me ask you something. You if you, if you, don't, if you do not have an erection... if your woman got a bigger mandingo of no, a... No, I control wait. the size. It cannot be bigger than me. 
it cannot be bigger than me. Of course, there are limitations to every rule. It's a game. You got to have standards. You cannot go and get a dick that looks like the size of me. But no. why would she get something that is exactly your size? Why would she get something that is exactly your mandingo? Why would she get that? She oh. needs something different. She cannot get exactly that, that size. Yeah, it has she to be smaller. Exactly oh. that uh, work. Uh, okay, uh, Louisa, you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, what, what I also wanted to mention was the fact that we shouldn't disregard the fact that some of those sex toys can also cause health issues as well. That's true. Yes. Like which so, kind of health that is issues? That's also very important. Why you're some getting all us, that pleasure, you also have, have to uh, watch out uh, for uh, your uh, health. Some of some people like what? Like what? So what? Give an example. Right. We've also me, seen videos no. of women that ended up hurting themselves and have to go through surgery because they were using all those stuff in, in Because they demand. got the biggest and one. So you just have to watch out for all those. Some of those things are synthetic and they're not good for the skin as well. So you have to be very careful. We had a video of a woman who was complaining that the man was so big that he pushed yeah. her, her, her pelvic, right? 12, 12 so d depending on the size of the man, he could also cause damage. It's not that because you're using a plastic... Uh, no, what she's things, saying, uh, what she's trying to say it's not is that no, uh, it's, what it's, she's it's, trying it's, to it's, say is that that toy itself can come with a whole lot of side effects on the skin. Okay, some women have latex. Uh, I have latex allergy. Like, yeah, so straight up, you like, don't like condoms. Oh hell no! So no anytime condoms. somebody comes we're around you, the there's a risk for baby. There's a wait time. We're going to hey. the doctor first. That. That's why they wait. <laughs> <laughs> I see the reason now why, right. why you have to wait. <laughs> All right, wait, let's, let's jump on to the next topic. Okay, uh, thank you guys. Topic. So um, the next topic is, what is it that men consider to be wifey material anyway? We hear this thing all the time. She's not wifey material. That's why I didn't marry her. Um, what is it? What is it? Uh, because I have seen women cook. I have seen educated women. I have seen women put it down. I mean, blow your brains off in the bedroom, and you still come out and you say she is not wifey material. What oh. is wifey material? Because for me right now, as it is, um, it's not cooking. It's not a woman who is able to hold down a house, right? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's an excuse for men to just jump from one woman to another. Um, because it's easy to say that a woman is not wifey material. Because nobody want to marry a woman that's not wifey material. One man's meat is another man's poison. No, but we're saying for I'm, you that is making the decision that a woman is you wifey material. You are right material. on one thing, Trace. I think it's just so much of excuse. She is not a wife material. What makes, it, what makes her not a wife material? I think every woman... Is a wife material. I, I disagree. Not oh, every listen, woman. listen to what I'm saying. In every fact, woman is capable. Yeah. Every woman is capable of be, be, being a wife material. I still disagree. Who is a wife material to you? This woman could be a devil to woman and be an angel to one another. Yeah, it's and, 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 you know, I'm just like saying. Pregnant, listen to what I'm saying. Is like listen to See, what women, I'm saying. Women no learn. What listen, women, listen women to learn. what I'm saying. When, once there's some women. It's not every every man that a woman is gonna meet and treat the same. You meet certain men that you really care about, and you find out that you become a sheep. You meet some men, and you become a you know you just start uh, lording them around and doing stuff. What I'm saying is that being that real woman for me is a uh, a wife material is being your proverb thirty one woman. Your proverb thirty one woman is your woman at your best. The woman that cares to her home, cooks, takes takes care of family, is ready to nurture kids, is ready to procreate, is read, ready to work with that with that man. There's a point in your life, no matter how much you play, how much you go around, how you want to settle, you want to do stuff, you want to just take care of family, you're ready to have kids, you're ready to nurture. That's a different person from the so, person who is not ready to take up responsibility. Let me, let, me, let me ask you something. So you're dating a girl, you love her, but she's career, she's career oriented. She wants to, 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 to get a PhD, mm -hmm. right, uh, before she starts having a family. Uh, she wants to eventually have a family, but it's 10, 15 years down the road. Um, she, she doesn't have time to be in the kitchen because her, her workload is excessive. Um, so the structure of a traditional African wife material that has to build a house and nurture kids and marry, it's not her primary focus. It's not her primary objective because she's more so career-oriented. Are you saying she's not wife material? No, 
no, that's not what I'm saying. If that, these are temporary things. At that point, she's trying to achieve a certain goal. But it means and at it that particular that point, she is not wifey material. No. When she's done with her school, when she's done with everything, potentially... She is wife material. Is that what you're saying? No. What I'm saying is that it's part of the process of being a, in, a, in a family where there's understanding. You could, you could get married to this woman and sometime again she says she gets a promotion or she needs training. What are you going to do? Are you going to undo the fact that she's been good, she's been cooking, she's been doing all of that? The people will start a relationship and at some point they engage in other activities while they're in that relationship. There has to be understanding. What is the goal? for this why is she taking up this course why is she going to school is it to make this family better yeah look at that no Stop. no look again the, it's not about family it's about the woman is she wife material my context of talking about being a wife material is it why are you a wife a wife is because you want to raise a family it's a partnership right yeah it's a partnership but why are you a wife wife material why are you trying to be a wife? It's because you want to fulfill God's word. No, raise but wait, a family. it's not you deciding to be a wife. It's a man seeing qualities in you. I'm talking before the there, man there, sees qualities. Before a man, before a, a, a wait, wait, listen, what, 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 listen. What before a man sees those qualities in you, you have to be that person first. The, you the have man. to. I'm talking no, about the before woman, the, the, woman, the yeah. woman, before a man sees the qualities in you. One, you have to be it. You have to work. You have to live it. You. This is what I want. Okay. Think about the fact that you're just free. You're going to school. You're doing what now? But the moment you start behaving like a wife, people will see you like a wife. You start talking like someone who needs to have a family. Someone. You have a conversation. I love kids. That man is saying, ah, I think she really wants kids. That alone is so, not white material. So no, I'm not material. saying those that. I'm not saying that, that that alone. I'm just saying the kind of conversations you are having. So those are outward, while you interact, outward characteristics yes, that would bring a man to you. Closer to you, but exactly. But when he comes to you, you still need to have internal qualities, qualities that will keep him. True. Okay. True. So, Black, you were saying. Um. For me, uh, wife, uh, wife, wifey material is very deep. But um, there is, um, for me, uh, there was three things to make a wifey material. Uh, and most of the time, we don't have it. We don't, we, we don't get all the three. You know, we're talking about a woman have to have some kind of level of education. Um, a woman have to have that um, home choice material in you. A woman have to have that um, a mother like. Okay. Most of the time, we don't have that. Most of the time, when you get all three, you are blessed. Most of the time, we get two. So, Africa is just now... Adija uh, says, let me interrupt, please, honey. Mm -hmm. Adija says, why people material is in the eyes of the beholder. Some men like quiet, some like crazy, some like sexy, some like to eat out. Others, my husband, example, one, nine kids, etc. So I think that she has a point because it depends on who. Some men do not like even want to have too many kids. That's Some true. men want to have no, just... We're talking about the qualities that make you a wife. Oh, wow. That's why she said. Yeah. It's okay. in that's the her, eyes of... I, 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 I disagree with... I, I, right. I cannot okay. agree a little agree, bit, but, but I, yeah, I, I, I disagree because the thing with men, the majority of men, mm. is that the sexy is the girlfriend. The wife, they don't really like to be sexy. Right. They want the pretty That's one. African woman. The, Afri African, yeah, the woman, African man, man yeah. right? The African man, when he's in a dating relationship, he's dating the wild woman, the crazy one, the one with the tattoos, the right. one, the one that's the fire, freaky, that the, brings the fire. Type. Yeah, the freaky type, right? Mm -hmm. But when he's ready to settle down, when it's occurred to him that he needs to settle down and mm -hmm. start a family, out of the blue. The girl has not done no nothing. But you gotta he go. has he has enjoyed the right. You gotta go. But at this time, he, he needs, needs to, to he needs, needs something different. So yeah. that's where and he's gonna take the quiet and make her sexy, but it's gonna be conservative. That, that's sexy. what I'm saying. That there's three things. There are educated. You gotta have a woman as a lady. You have to have some qualities in the, your education background. We're not saying that you have all the degrees, no. But you have to have some type of, you know outgoing kind of edu educated whereby when you are you own your own business you take your woman your wife to a place 
she can actually express herself. Yes, that's something that a man looking at, looking into a, a woman, look, look out, out from a woman. Oh, uh, you have to have that mother like. When I take you to my my family house, I want to see how you react to the kids. You have don't you don't have to tell me you want kids, but the way you re, you react to my May nephew I say and my something. Niece and Some like, men just like married or not. Some men just love their women sexy. And no, no sexy. Men, but listen, what two guys are listen, sexy? No, 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 listen, no, 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 listen, what, I'm, listen this, what I'm trying to say is uh, hammer on your point. Some men want to want their women to go out and look like sweet 16 and look like they just you know uh, i don't like know any that. such men they are men i think okay. i think there's a difference between sexy and classy that that's we, right. we that's keep we keep drawing classy the line is, is, is come with all you know yes that's, 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 it that's, is that's, a that's, sexy mature have, woman this thing we have to continue listen to listen there, there, are there are a few people there are a few people know so there are a few people who are still out there who look at they want to look at their their wife like and say, a trophy. I like you we don't have the trophy type we don't care listen that's not wifey material no you can't say that that's not wife material that still shops in forever 21 is sexy yeah okay that's not classy, that's not classy. yeah you could be sexy no, no. it Let depends it dep listen listen single listen, no. women are no. sexy for yeah. the most part mm. married women are classy when and when you see a classy woman you find her equally as attractive but just now there's some respect to it when you see a sexy you woman, right. you are sexually attracted are to right. her. That's, that's, the, only, right. that's only the only thing, thing you see. You see sex. You're like, Whoa. that's the word you sexy. You are right. Sex means I see sex in you. That's and it. that's all I can Listen, offer. You are right. But there's one thing, too. You can't say that for if you see a woman shop Forever 21, you can go to Forever. A grown woman no, who is not you can, No, you can go to Forever 21 and pick up a really, really nice top to come match up with some that's nice okay. kid. But, not but don't day. say that. Uh, <laughs> it better not be above your navel. <laughs> no, not every dress at Forever 21 is above your navel. That's oh, okay. what I'm saying. Again, there's for, some classic Forever 21 has changed Forever because 21. we have 40 year old and 35 years old going to shop that so of course they had to cater for yeah. for for those clients without changing the name but back to your you point know, let's wait, wait 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 okay. well listen Adija is responding to a point really my husband likes me sexy if you send him to buy me a dress he will buy the shortest one you see that coming yes, from okay. a woman and, and yes. the funniest thing is that Adija has go to her facebook page she does not have any of those things yes. that is what the man Look likes it. so the man like it at but home at home you didn't let me finish at home. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you know that's what i'm saying this this topic is very big topic yeah there's a breakdown there's a real breakdown because adija's husband who believe me on that free says will, will never, a woman is will on will right. never see adija walking with a short skirt to go to the no 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 but he likes you it, at home. Do it at home i like a booty show of my I, woman I, I, at home i'm good with I that i love those chicks I'm, at home i'm so good with but that. it's not getting out of the tammy, house tammy say some men like their wife to dress sexy see i have a i have a friend their husband will go out and pick out the the most tiny to little take her little out little. yes those and those ones are the trophy. With that. Those are, we no, call it the, he's trophy. a wife with kids. <laughs> she, it's still trophy. Again, it's not, again, trophy. Uh, for me, for me, any any man, it, it any man that goes, man. listen, listen, any man that puts his wife out there, mm. right? Like you, you're calling it a trophy wife, mm. right? Cannot then be upset and if, if 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 other people, other bees start flogging to you. Men stay away from mature you women. You gotta protect your. your you understand? Yep. Men stay. Yep. Let me tell you something. If a woman comes in, and a, a young, especially younger, younger guys, mm. they look at how you dress, they assess you, and then they assess if they can approach you yep. and talk listen, to you. So listen, listen. Your presentation women, attracts the kind listen, of men that will come to talk that to you. True. Yep. Classic yep. women, you can't see that point doesn't really make because men will always be attracted to classic not women. True. Men will not, always be attracted to classic women. Let me tell you women. A man I'm, is gonna men, assess if men? he can afford that dress that you're wearing. <laughs> if he cannot afford that dress that you're wearing, okay. he is not coming to talk to no, you. Wait, no, wait, listen. Yep. That listen. is a man's mentality. But you cannot say that some was to make an effort. That is a player. No, and I tell you once he yeah, comes, but the fact you is know that, that he is player he, or not. He, they are still approaching the classy woman. That's my point. But that, that is a very... T Listen, a man, when a man sits in an environment, right, he assesses his, his women. He looks at all of them. And he's like, that one right there, 
I think I can go and make a run for it yeah. because he has assessed your appearance. Right. He has judged you from what he is seeing. Right. Not what your intelligence is, not how you carry, not, 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 not what is your intellect, but your appearance. If you come in there and you're wearing your shut, shut dress, of course, all the guys with their baggy jeans, with all they everything with their it. dreadlocks, that's what it is going to come to you. Yep. But if you come in there looking all responsible, and I'm not saying something that's on your knee on level, your knee. No, but just something no. sexy, classy, I'm telling you, you hold a clutch, you carry yourself like a grown woman, yep. I am telling you, grown brothers are going to come, come talk around. to you. Yep. He, yeah, true. Yeah. You and that's why brushed. women are always surprised why, they be, why thugs come up to them. Because, because you attract dogs. Okay, yes. but why don't anybody come up to me at all? Look, no. you want them to first of all come and wait. <laughs> <laughs> so they can smell that stuff from a mile away. And they're asking themselves, your cousin right there is going to give me the cookies tonight. Why am I coming away? Why are they always asking around? Insta? Why do they ask from somebody else if they could approach me? They can't come to me directly. I've told you that it's an African thing. Yeah, it's an African thing. African women are the ones complicating the game. Yeah. I, why don't I, we why don't we ask African American women African friend, can American. I go talk to your to no can it's I go talk African African people sometimes it take time to no. approach no, you. No, if no, I African see an African American girl when I was in the game back then I just go. If I yeah. saw a white girl, I just, I just go I up. I tried the whole thing. Is when you go and tell African American or a white like, chick that, oh, can I talk to your, um, can you talk to your friend for me? You look at like, yeah, she's you, like, so you, you didn't see me? Yeah. Yeah, like, like, so, why are you going to, yeah. Yeah, like, why are you talking? Like, African she thinks you're weak. African men, we have to pass the channel. Yes. We always have to, and that's, that's even the biggest mistake in the game. Let me tell you with African women, if you're not in her church, it's hard. If you're not in the same school with her, it's hard. That if you're true. not from, if she does not know you, if she did not pinpoint you, and that's why you got to go to her friend because her friend is going to introduce her to you. Like, can you? Yeah, her friend is going to introduce her to you and break the ice because if you're just a, a, a no, if she just doesn't know you from nowhere, mm. you just show up, you're getting you an answer of no. No. Right? Yeah, no, so it's just there. The thing is that they like an environment of uh, a comfort environment yeah. i have to have known you from somewhere or at least i have to know somebody that know, know you, you. Yeah. before even to dance an african woman is not just gonna dance, dance with a with random yeah. Yeah. random dude right because they're like i don't know you yeah i mean it's just a dance you know what i i, I try to uh no, I, I, because i'll tell you african a story no 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 african men don't do that they do that no no it's a dance i'm supposed to jump on you for crying out like what are we supposed to do it's zook african dance is, it's it's called it, 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 squeezing. It, 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 it is a dance. a dance. I will squeeze it and I will leave it. I'm not taking it home with That's me. Right. What the hell? What you did you need come to there see for? Some squeeze. Like no, the, the my hands there. are big. If I have to grab, I will grab more than a guy with smaller hands. Yeah. Of course, I will squeeze and squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> some women like to be squeezed. No, that, that's how they yes. are squeezed by their men. Who? You end up. No, how, do you you know? how do you know? You gotta take chances. It's you a know, risky uh, uh, world uh, uh, out uh, uh, there. When I was in the game, we go to club so early to know the single ones are coming. Yes. <laughs> you know, that's how they do it. You cannot just go and start sque uh, squeezing. You're going to get some slap. Let me tell you something. I used to go to this one club in D.C. called Crystal, right? I was a good guy. Mm. I was like, you know what? I'm going to respect the female. So I go out there to play Zook. And my hands are like, you know, <laughs> nine and three. It don't go no down. It's just like we're at the waist. And, and I'm looking at the way she's looking at me like, at the, some, some punk, right? And then I, after the song, she's like, excuse me. <laughs> so I go back to the bar, get me a drink. Next thing I see her bumping and grinding <laughs> with this other guy. And I know I just lost my chances. And I learned that day, never ever. I will squeeze and I will squeeze all the juice out of it. Because I have just that one opportunity. That's it. That's why we're there. We're there to it's have fun. It's funny how you guys talk about women as if they're, you know, some play dolls. No, dolls no, no. What do you no, mean no, by no, no. play dolls? Okay. We are out there to have fun. <laughs> Anyways, let's not derail. We got right. 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes. So we were saying that. Men are looking for qualities. Yeah. And even in this recent time, I think that men make a lot of excuses, right? Because, um, and again, you cannot know what's in a man's hat. That's what we, we know, right? So right. again, as much as I say it's an excuse. Okay, what do you, let's be straight to it. What do you consider as a wife material? You, trace for me, you for, me, black. for me, first of all, it's, I can't it's answer friendship. that question right now. Right. I, I think, I, I think for me, it's friendship. 
there's going to be a while when the sex is not going to be as intense as boyfriend girlfriend sex right when the sex is kind of die down i need a person that is my friend a person with which i can gossip with right, right. in in any relationship that does not have a certain amount of gossiping it's a bad relationship if you cannot so gossip, you really have to gossip with that person make him a I best don't, friend I, 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 I don't buy that but I'll, I'll, no, 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 I'll, no 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 yeah but, I don't you're, gossip you're in, Listen, no. I don't. If you're in your never relationship. Did. Never, never did. When we say gossip, just, right, yeah. you don't you have, have to snitch and stuff or, or, yeah. or bring down somebody. somebody right. yeah. But you could, you could talk about somebody. In the movie. It, you don't talk about real people. No, I I don't even do that. I never, it, it, it's not in my DNA. So okay. I'll, I'll, so, I'll, I'll so, take so, that so, so like that that's what bonds you guys when you're not because when you're not you're not having sex. You're just staying there and you. What are you guys talking about, mm -hmm. right? You talk about business, but you're not gonna talk about business every day. You're um, not gonna say there's some issues that you're just gonna talk randomly. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for a friend. You understand? A friend I'm, is uh, you know, a woman yes, first. Uh, like my best friend. Mm -hmm. So. I told my friends, my best friends, that I am sorry. I don't, I don't know if you were there that night, but I told them that I am sorry. I talk about you with my... my no, 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 no. Our friendship is over. I found a new best friend. That's a woman? Yes. yes. I told them. I called oh, them up. at his wedding yes. night. I called them up, and I told them that um, there, were, there were like five of them. Uh, one of them is in Cameroon. I haven't spoken to him in a while. Shout out to Desmond. I, I, I told him that you guys have been my uh, best. D? Yeah, more Desmond. Okay. I said, you guys have been my best friends as I grew up. He, while I was all the way in primary school, we grew up together. So, but I told him, and it was a joke, right? right. Because they're still my boys. Right. But that was just to tell them that I have found a new a, 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 best friend. Yeah. That she's going to tell when you guys call me that, let's go hang out. I have to consult. I have to consult. And right. if she says that, let's no, go do this, go I'm going to cancel. It, so that's my new best friend. Right. And and you guys cannot, and for boys, you they cannot be jealous. You know, for girls, they get jealous if you have a new best friend, right? Right. And that's that's how, for me, I value wife and material. Right. If I have found that friend. Because I could substitute in the kitchen, although I can't cook for nothing. But I could substitute in the kitchen. We Take could go trash. Out. There's some things I, I we can make up, but you can, make, you can never make up for a lack of your best friend briefly yeah. before you talk i want to really say give a shout out to you all who are going through this thing with the hurricane uh in texas suffering through this time of course uh i know it's a so hard but hey just it here is home we're here on solutions right right you can always contact us and if we have the any ideas we can resolve a few things solve it together okay so uh, uh, reach out to us and uh, Miss P. Yeah, Miss P is one of the people. Miss P who, is in is, Oklahoma. Uh, Miss P, no, Matt. No, no, Lu Louisa lives in Texas. Louisa, Te Louisa, Texas. Louisa yeah. is oh, safe. Fact, we don't need to know anybody. Our anybody hearts go out to, to everybody, everybody that is affected. Everybody, basically. Those who we know particularly, we give a shout out, Miss P in particular. She called in yesterday uh, about the donations. Whatever you can do in your own little way to contribute, go to your store. Uh, whatever it is that you can do to help out. Uh, we never know what state is going to be next, what city it's going to be next. Um, it's just how America is. So uh, our hearts and prayers, uh, as is tradition to say in America, go out to the people. Of yeah, Houston, we stand with you guys. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so so what's what's wife material for you? Bro? All right, my uh, my my wife material thing is 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 a three levels. Um, I I I believe that a, a woman, a lady, have to have some. Uh, some type of um a, 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 your a, your de your educational background have to be a little bit there, um you have to have that uh that so, so, so what she has to have a bachelor's degree no, no, a no, master's no 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 I don't need that but no I don't oh you I don't just want her to be able to express herself express yourself okay you know okay. I don't need that bachelor's at least the most basic level read write yes. have a conversation no, you out, okay you can, you articulate it's exactly okay so we go. need a woman like I need a, a lady like that I need a woman. A uh, lady that have that mother spirit in you. When I say mother spirit, you see all these young girls or all, all these um, uh, ladies that you take them home, they don't even know what to do. Don't you think it's a learning process? You, you have to learn. Okay. If but you, if but at that particular you, you, time she's the, not the, there. The, the, I, I, always, I always say this, that there is a saying that you can train a puppy, but you cannot train an old dog, a big old fool dog. Hmm. So, if you are in the 20s, in the 25 to 30, and you want to get married, and you don't know how to do some house choice, you're not, you're not going to know how to do it anyways. You think so? Yes, I know so. Okay. Because 
it will bring a problem. That will be when you a, a man get into that uh, uh, that relationship. At the end, it will be, it will become problem. Do you think uh, there's some things that you as a man can change? Of course, a man have to change because you have to change towards that the, the material that you want. You know, because you have to make that wife yours. Okay. If you can take it and learn it, make, make it work. Hey, bless you. But most of the time, it doesn't. So that's why when when in Africa, we're talking about Africans, right, 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 right. We Africans, we know our sisters. They have to go to the kitchen, in the, in the younger age. Like we're talking about from the six. Yeah, and train seven your to, kids. Like you know, right now, my daughter is about t t maybe she's eleven years right. old. They will in the she kitchen. She helps too. me clean yes. the kitchen. You know, she has so, to help me cook. Be so there. I need her to know. Okay, when it becomes part of you. Then when you getting married, you know all this. It, it, it become that's why you go to some woman's home, you go to a lady's house, and you look at the environment. You look up like wow. So, but that's what you are looking for in a woman. Yeah, you know I, that's I, I think you're not you're not setting the standard for every woman. You're just saying that if I'm looking for a woman to get married, this is what I'm looking yes. out for yes. because we don't want feminists to call and feel like we're putting an umbrella on all women. No, 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 just me. Yeah, that's just, my opinion. Okay. That's my, just because me. Okay. Just me. Seven so now this is, call yeah. this is, this, 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 this is why, <laughs> this is why I said <laughs> that it depends on, or, or it, it basically it depends on the man. Because most men, some men would like chocolate, others don't. So men, that's why we, we are different people and we're attracted to different things and different demands. For him, he likes a woman who has a, a, a well, you know, put out African culture background. And don't take that too much of African culture. No, no, but I'm not you saying. You have to have I'm not a saying. Of everything. No, I'm not saying that it has to be all all the way African, African. No, you need a woman who's polished, like you said, right. who's educated, and whom you know you can communicate with and understand each other. That's something you're looking for, right? right. But again, you also want a woman whom, when you get home too, she has done. Uh, what you know you used to see your mother do yeah. or have others do that's what you're saying some men do not care about that some men just want that woman was going to be showing up with them from one meeting to one business meeting to the next because they're all all the way corporate mm -hmm. and then they let end me, up in dinner let me ask and a stuff. quick question for african men or african women who marry out of their Race. like uh race either marry an african-american latino or caucasian it's a clash of cultures, right? Right. Not necessarily that it's a bad thing. I mean, it's a good, it's a beautiful thing when there's love in there. My, my question is this. Is the man, let, let's use the man, for example, is he assessing this woman in the same regard? And that time, as an African man, with all of those values, I'm looking for a woman that does this. Or is he just marrying a woman he fell in love with? And by that saying, by saying that, saying he fell in love with, did that include those measures? Um, can she cook African food? Can she do this? Is she nurturing? Is she, uh, you know, all of those African intrinsic, fa uh, intrinsic factors, factors that, that, that come in place. Has he given that up and is just following his heart? Because like we know, there's infatuation and then there's love, right? So um, does he not value his need for fufu again or anything like that? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, but I, I believe that there's genuine happiness, there's genuine love out there. But does he consider those things before marrying? And the same thing for an uh, African woman uh, who marries out. D does she put those inputs in there? And even, even, even among us Africans, a Nigerian that marries a Cameroonian, Ghanaian, a Ghanaian yeah. that marries an Ethiopian, we have different culture uh, barriers that do we consider... I, I think right now it's it's a lot being breached by the fact that a lot of people are counting on the housemates, the house girls, the no, house to do on a, serious, and... on a serious note, I feel like I I I, I feel like when, when 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 you meet somebody, um, you know, somebody out of your race, maybe a white, black American or whatever it is, and the person, the person, it all depends on the woman that you, you're getting to. A mm -hmm. woman who is well trained at home, know how to cook and things like that. Will will definitely will will love to learn yeah. what, what, what your tradition. She would remain she would, that good woman, right? She would remain that good woman, and you would still see, a, still wife see a wife in her. She's gonna cook your. It you doesn't know, matter. It doesn't matter she's America, white, white, white or whatever. anything. She would love to. Have, how do you cook this? She will go to your kitchen. You take her to your, your family house. They will rush to the kitchen. Hey, uh, in law, can I help you do this? They want to learn. Yeah. They want to, you know, 
because we're having a lot of African divorce even to this day mm. for women who are career oriented, yeah. right? They don't stay at home, uh, especially with the nursing communities. They're doing doubles upon doubles, and mm. the man is. Is, is always there, there are by women himself. who cook, who really cook, who love cooking, who are passionate about cooking. But I think that it all depends on the person you're meeting. It, 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 I said this before. A woman could be an angel but to one man, and the next man, if they do, do not really like you, they're not going to pay attention to whether you have eaten or if you have not eaten. But, but would you stay in a relationship with a man who's always gone? That's the who's always gone. Yeah, at work, he's always working. Well, it depends, because the women who are married to men who are always working. I'm not saying like military who's constantly deployed, right? Because you could deploy it with him. I'm saying, will I marry a woman who's constantly at work? No, I will no. not. No, that's one thing that a career woman. I, not, I, it's, it's, I, it's I mean, good. I'm, if, it's if, good to have a career woman. But yes, you have to some to some I measures. I will marry a career-oriented woman. woman. I will not marry a woman who is married to her job. No, that's no no. Mm. That's yes. no. Like I, I will not be at home, and and I'm talking the kids into bed. I now and then you're coming, I, you're coming so home at eleven. Single. No, no, you're, 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 I think that you're you're, you're mistaking career-oriented. And being an woman. achiever yeah. and, a, and a woman who is married to her job. job. Her job is all that she knows. Yeah. She doesn't Those have time to even attend that we talk about one stuff. time. You yes. She is about her job. If she has a project, she goes way above and beyond. She doesn't even try to like delay or anything or work through or bring it at home. Like, for example... There is no reason why you're doing all of these doubles, but you're just doing doubles, right? Yeah. You, you oh, wanna, yeah. you, you're just doing doubles. You want to amass yeah, all of this I money. But then we're at home. We're not seeing our, our, our wife, right? The kids are not seeing their mother because if every ship comes up at work, she's picked it up, right? No. But if it's that we have some financial issue and you're working temporarily to abbreviate that, mm. uh, take care of that situation, then it's different. But if you're just married to your job, and that's we are in a relationship. That's a problem. Anyway, I, I was know you're not a wife. You all know that I've gotten like five proposals already. So. Take take one. <laughs> Is any one of them? Uh, 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 uh. You ain't just taking proposals. You're you're. So you have a... five brothers. So you, basically, you're doing the how do they call that show? Uh, <laughs> spouse. <laughs> the, what? It's, one? It's, uh, the the ones that the guy goes through five girls to pick one that retarded uh, show. You're trying to say America's Bachelorette? Yeah, oh, ba the Bachelors. Oh, the Bachelors. So, <sighs> so basically, you have no, five men I, I right now. No, I ain't doing that. No, not that. All of them, I, I, all of them, I, I, all, no, all of them all testing the cookies. What? Because they have to taste it to know. <laughs> it ain't happening. Yeah, yeah happen. you have to taste it to know. <laughs> what kind of man do you roll with? Patient. Not, people? not, not our time. No, not our time. <laughs> 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 yes, we're we're the being tested in and know whether we're hanging around or we're, we're out of that. Well, I, mommy, I like you. Well, I have to be, baby. You see, couldn't just have come from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you don't use condoms. They're allergic to it. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man. It might be a shocker for the man. <laughs> what? It might be just one time. You know, it don't take. It don't take nothing but one. Just time. one time. Yeah. And then it's like okay. Yes, it baby. It doesn't even need the whole nine yard. It just one time. The pre come. Touchdown. The pre come. And and that's it. Yeah. Please touchdown. And, touch down. <laughs> and, I, and, and you're not the type that you're like. Uh, if it's in there, I'm locking it in. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm. So uh, uh, what do you, what do you assess when uh, we're talking about? Uh, 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 if a woman wants to find a husband, what 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 are the qualities there? Why is a woman I, I, finding a husband for? No, hey, there, there, I, I said this thing. I said there, this thing before, and I said we said that women have to engage engage a man. A man. They, they, they refuse. Listen, no, I said something. I said something that you have to be your proverb thirty one woman when you're ready to be in a relationship as as, as serious as marriage. You have to be your proverb thirty one woman, meaning that. You have to know how to cater, prepare yourself for a family situation, prepare yourself how to care for a man other than yourself, prepare yourself how to groom kids other than just yourself. How do you clean? It takes a lot to just be that woman. You are managing. 
a household. That is the role of that proverb, that one woman. Because you have to make sure that everything is working hand in hand. Communication is going to go through. How does it start? When you start meeting people and you eat, and you are, if a man comes into your home and sees that you are, like what you're saying, you're already taking, you're cooking, you're cleaning, you're doing all of these things already. He's saying, ah, that's a good woman. I'm attracted to her. Mm. Not basically simply because you put good food the way you serve him. The manner in which you serve him is different from the manner in which you're going to serve any other person that comes. Right. Because that is a special way of taking care of him. It's like, wow, I like to be treated like this. Let me, let me say this real woman. quick. And I just want all the sisters out there because I've heard a lot of sisters say, I did everything for him. I cooked. I cleaned. I did his lunches. I washed his drawers. I fed him i did everything mm. but he still didn't marry me i don't want to think that i don't i don't want you to the think problem that is the man. You, yeah it's not you you are doing what you need to do he is the problem and yeah. you just you cannot then because we the the the, the, the next right, topic yeah. the next topic for for another time is going to be um how soon should Remember? you get back into a relationship how soon should you get back into a relationship after a broke up? After you've broken up, so women don't give up. Keep doing what you do. If you're feeding, clothing, that's what you do. That's what you like to do. Keep feeding us. We're gonna get fat. Some of us will marry you. Some of us won't. It's not the end of the world. We still love you. So uh, 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 let's let's put our, our let's last wrap it up. Out let's wrap it up. So I like I'll say you all check it out. Go go into the Bible. For my point is just be your Proverb thirty one woman. Man, if you're looking for that woman, it depends on you. Any woman could be a a, a, a wife material, depending on how you treat them and how you see them and how. But hey, if a woman is trying and is that Proverb thirty one woman, if you see those qualities, reach out, grab her. She is one. Any woman, a good woman, a woman that smiles, that rocks your bubble and makes you laugh. Yeah. Yes. If you're connecting with someone and you laugh every day, she is your wife material. Don't go looking for something else. So, what do you think? Make the grass greener on your side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's for me. To this say. is P. Jericho for you. He's performing tomorrow with Whiskey and everybody. So, support this artist of ours. He is a Cameroonian and he is balling. Make sure you turn up this vo volume so high. I want the world to know Peter oh, yeah. Jerry Cow is from Cameroon. Feel on the thread of my sheet. The fabric all on my sleeve. I am royalty, baby. I am royalty. Oh, baby. I am royalty, baby. I am royalty. Baby. I am royalty. Man, if you can touch my color, my crew, no, they shall have no sense. Cash, fire, down, living, God, give it. Oh, yeah. I am royalty. I am royalty. Oh, baby. Me, I am royalty. Me, I am royalty. Come and park my car, sir. Let me draw you the keys. Gotcha. You should know my name. I don't have to repeat. Oh, we can treat it like slaves, so no. We forgot we were kings. Oh, yeah. Please let me enjoy my truck. My am royalty. I know that everybody know the sun. You gotta love me, I've loved yeah. me. You gotta much me, I've got me. I tell you what you want to do. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking in person. I am the blueprint original. I am royalty. Oh baby, da. Oh, I am royalty, my yeah. I am royalty. None of you can touch my empire, my crew. No, they shall have no sense. Cash, fire, now living, God, living. Oh yeah, I am royalty. I say I am royalty. Oh, people know the way. We are royalty. We are royalty. No one should tell you. Nobody can tell you.